Hello xin chào mọi người, chào mọi người đến với kênh channel của mình Bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với uh, phần Natural Listening Ok, đây mình có rất nhiều bài Natural Listening Mình sẽ đến với bài đầu tiên đó là Uh, 1407 này. Media then and now Comparing movies and News eras Trong cái phần uh, Natural listening này thì Student can learn English Will lesson features audios Or video A script intera- interactive Quiz and vocabulary Activities okay. Media then and now Meg and Toe compare media in the past and present. Hey Todd, so continuing talking about then and now, I was thinking we could switch to talking about just life in general. Sounds good. So my first question for you is, are movies today more interesting than before? Well... I'm going to sound like an old guy, but I would say no. Movies are not more interesting today. Movies were much better 20, 30 years ago. The stories were better. Um, They were more interesting. These days, movies just have too much special effects, and there's too many movies about superheroes. I hate movies about superheroes. So, yeah, I think movies used to be more interesting. What do you think? I have the opposite opinion of you. I think movies today are more interesting than before. Um, Maybe I'm too used to a lot of special effects. So when I watch some older movies, the story might be interesting, but I get a little bored watching it. And actually, I love superhero movies. So I would say that, yes, any superhero movies, uh, Spider-Man or Batman especially is my favorite. So those movies, for me, are more interesting than in the past. Okay. Well, we're talking about comparatives, so who's cooler, Batman or Spider-Man? Oh, Batman. Hands down. I'm sorry. I think Spider-Man's really lame. I never (laughs) like Spider-Man. He kind of whines a lot. He looks like a kid in his pajamas. He is a kid in his pajamas. (laughs) Maybe that's it. Whereas Batman has a lot of skills that he's developed himself, so... True, true. Okay, okay, well, how about Batman? So, you're like, who is better? Who is the best Batman? Yeah, who's, who's the better, better Batman? Who is better? Right. Uh, um, who was the last one? It was, um... Oh. Well, the most recent Batman was Ben Affleck. Yeah. But I didn't watch that one. Oh, okay. So, before that, there was Christian Bale. Oh, that's right. So, without having seen Ben Affleck, I would still say that Christian Bale was a better Batman. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so let's talk about other things. How about the news? With news, are you more knowledgeable these days than before, say, five, ten years ago? Actually, I think I am less knowledgeable than before. There is a lot of news out there, and it's easy to access the news, but there's so much news coming from so many sources I'm not sure which news source is more trustworthy. So I think it's more difficult now to find the correct news or the true news. What do you think? I agree. Sadly, I think I'm less knowledgeable because before I would read the newspaper, I would read magazine articles, or I would listen to um, better news stories on the news. Mm. These days, I just look at a Facebook headline. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even read the article. Yeah. So I don't even know what's going on sometimes, which is terrible for a man my age. <laughs> terrible for anyone, I think. Yeah, I think it's because I think the news was more honest than before, than, than now. I'm sorry. I think the news is less honest these days. Mm. It used to be more honest. Yeah. I just don't trust the news anymore. Yeah, I don't really trust it either. Yeah, less trustworthy. So along those lines, would you say social media makes life better or worse for people? I think it's it's both. Like I think it's 
you know, two points better, three points worse. Mm. So it's a negative. It's better because you can keep track with so many family members, especially if you're far away. So I like how it connects people. But, uh, yeah, it just makes people sad sometimes or makes them frustrated about their life, maybe. Right. So, yeah, I don't think it makes life better. But I'm an old guy, so... No, I think it's true. I think there are scientific studies to show that because of social media, people compare themselves too much. So it's quite appropriate that we're talking about comparison because people will see other people's lives on social media that look quite good and they will compare themselves and feel bad about themselves. So for some people, I think it has made it worse. But like you, I agree that some points are better. Like seeing pictures from my family. Yeah, so true. Okay, chúng mình sẽ đến với phần quiz Đến phần quiz trước Ok, đến phần quiz trước xong sẽ đến với phần vô cam nha Hey Todd, so continuing talking about then and now I was thinking we could switch to talking about just life in general Sounds good So my first question for you is Are movies today more interesting than before? Well, I'm going to sound like an old guy, <laughs> but I would say no. Movies are not more interesting today. Movies were much better 20, 30 years ago. The stories were better. Um, they were more interesting. These days, movies just have too much special effects, mm. and there's too many movies about superheroes. I hate movies about oh. superheroes. So, yeah, I think movies used to be more interesting. Mm. What do you think? I have the opposite opinion of you. I think movies today are more interesting than before. Um, maybe I'm too used to a lot of special effects. So when I watch some older movies, <laughs> the story might be interesting, but I get a little <laughs> bored watching it. And actually, I love superhero movies. So oh, really? I would say that, yes, any superhero movies, uh, Spider-Man or Batman especially is my favorite. So those movies for me are more interesting than in the past. Okay. Well, we're talking about comparatives. So right. who's cooler, Batman or Spider-Man? Oh, Batman, yeah. hands down. I'm sorry, I think Spider-Man's really lame. I've never <laughs> liked Spider-Man. He kind of whines a lot. He looks like a kid in his pajamas. He is a kid in his pajamas. <laughs> Maybe that's Whereas it. Whereas Batman has a lot of skills that he's developed himself. So True, true. Okay, well, how about Batman? So, you like, who is better? 
who is the best Batman? Yeah, who's, who's the, the better be- well, Batman? Like, who was better? Right. Uh, um, who was the last one? There was. Um, oh. Well, the most recent Batman was Ben Affleck. Yeah. But I didn't watch that one. Oh, okay. So before that, there was uh, Christian Bale. Oh, that's right. So without having seen Ben Affleck, I would still say that Christian Bale was a better Batman. Yeah, I'm sure. (laughs) I'm sure. Okay, so let's talk about other things. How about the news? With news, are you more knowledgeable these days than before, say, five, ten years ago? Actually, I think I am less knowledgeable than before. There's a lot of news out there, and it's easy to access the news, but there's so much news coming from so many sources, I'm not sure which news source is more trustworthy. So I think it's more difficult now to find the correct news or the true news. What do you think? I agree. Sadly, I think I'm less knowledgeable because... Before, I would read the newspaper, or I would read magazine articles, or I would listen to um, better news stories on the news. Mm. These days, I just look at a Facebook headline, <laughs> yeah, and I don't even read the article. Yeah. So I don't even know what's going on sometimes, which is terrible for a man my age. <laughs> terrible for anyone, I think. Yeah, I think it's because I think the news was more honest than before, than, than now, I'm sorry. I think the news is less honest these days Mm. it used to be more honest yeah i just don't trust the news anymore yeah i don't really trust it either yeah less trustworthy so along those lines would you say social media makes life better or worse for people i think it's it's both like i think it's you know, two points better, three points worse. Mm. So it's a negative. It's mm. better because you can keep track with so many family members, especially if you're far away. Right. So I like how it connects people. But, uh, yeah, it just makes people sad sometimes or makes them frustrated about their life maybe. Right. So, yeah, I don't think it makes life better. But yeah. I'm an old guy, so... No, I think it's true. I think there are scientific studies to show that because of social media, people compare themselves too much. So it's quite appropriate that we're talking about comparison because people will see other people's lives on social media that look quite good and they will compare themselves and feel bad about themselves. So for some people, I think it has made it worse. But like you, I agree that some points are better. Like seeing pictures from my family. Yeah, so true.
Okay. Sẽ check the answer này. Disagree. Bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với phần vocab. Audio lessons about phrases and vocabulary. Life in general. Life in general. Life in general. We could talk about just life in general. Life in general refers to everyday life. Notice the following. 1. Let's talk about life in general. 2. We just talk about life in general. Okay. Bây giờ mình đến với phần thứ hai đó là opposite opinion. Opposite opinion. Opposite opinion. I have the opposite opinion of you. When you have the opposite opinion, you disagree with someone. Notice the following. 1. He says it is healthy. I have the opposite opinion. 2. I like him, but my wife has the opposite opinion. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Oh, Batman. Hands down. We use the phrase hands down to show that a choice is easy to make. Notice the following. I prefer coffee hands down to tea. 2. Summer is hands down my favorite season. Okay, tiếp theo là wine. 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 He kind of whines a lot. When you whine about something, you complain about it. Notice the following. 1. He whines about everything. 2. You need to stop whining. For a man my age, for his age, for a man my age, for his age, which is terrible for a man my age, this phrase, for a person my age, means you should act according to your age. Notice the following. That outfit is not good for a man his age. Two. His hobby is strange for a man his age. Along those lines. Along those lines. Along those lines. So, along those lines, is social media bad for people? Here, along those lines means concerning or in relation to. Notice the following. 1. Along those lines, I agree with you. 2. Along those lines, what do you think? Okay, này. Mình sẽ uh, đặt tại đâu? Life in general. Life in general, tức là uh, everyday life này. Opposite opinion Opposite opinion nghĩa là uh, Disagree with someone Tức là không đồng ý với Ai đó Hands down Hands down Hands down Tức là để nói về một cái sự lựa chọn rất là dễ dàng Wine 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 When you whine about something 
Nhưng mà bạn Why về cái gì đấy thì tức là bạn có thể à, Tức là bạn phản nàn về nó này Contain about it For men my age Cái cụm này thì là For a person my age Nghĩa là bạn nên Cư xử đúng với cả cái tuổi của bạn Đấy Along the lines Along the lines nghĩa là concerning Đề cập đến hoặc là Có liên quan đến cái gì đấy After the office took Kong He won the election He keeps on Whining About the slow internet connection Even with an opposite opinion, we had a healthy conversation. Look, he looks young for his age. Being a happy, being a happy-go-lucky person, she only wanted to talk about. Life in general. Using official Maybe. Okay, we need to check the answer. Uh, you got three right out of six. Check answer. You got one right or wrong of six. Ah, uh, one. Keep on. Ok, mình sẽ đến với bài số bài tiếp theo Qua bài này 1462 này Naples Travel Tips Naples Jeans give Adam some ideas about things he can do in her home country of Naples Naples, Naples. All right. Hi, Hi Jen. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, you're, you're from, from Nepal, Nepal, right? Yes, I am. Uh, I was thinking about going there. Uh, could you tell me some good places to visit while I'm in Nepal? Yeah, sure. It's really nice place. I mean, you should totally come to my country. Uh, I would recommend that you should go to a place called Pokhara because that's the most famous tourist site in Nepal. Uh, there's a really beautiful lake there. And then I know that you like sports, so there are so many different kinds of uh, activities like bungee jumping, rafting, kayaking. I don't know, kayo? What is it? Kayaking? Kayaking, yeah. So, yeah. I think you'll love it there. That's the best place, I would say. Oh, cool. Um, how far is that from the capital? Uh, you have to take a mini bus, and it will take you around six hours, and you'll be there. Oh, okay. Cool. When's the best time to go there? I think during spring would be better. Yeah? Yeah. It's really nice there, like, uh, and the people are really nice. The food is amazing, and uh, 
there is a really good nightlife there because people like there is a lot of um, what do you call it uh, pubs and like live music so yeah it's a really fun place to be at night and in the daytime yeah that's great I love uh, live music um, do you have any like events or festivals that uh, I should go to when I'm in Nepal? Um, actually, in Nepal, in Nepal, there is a lot of festivals, but I would recommend you to go there when it's uh, when there is a festival called Holi. It's around February or uh, March. <laughs> So yeah, the festival is around March, and uh, what we do is we play with colors. We throw colors to at each other, and then even throw water balloons. It's really fun. Like uh, the play, like the whole uh, environment is really colorful, bright, and everyone is very happy. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I think I've seen uh, pictures of that uh, before. Um, how many days is that celebration? Uh, it's actually only one day. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I, I really want to go. Uh, anything else you can tell us about Nepal? Uh, if you like uh, hiking, then... Uh, Nepal has a lot of mountains. Actually, Mount Everest is in Nepal, so you can even try going there. Wow, that would be amazing. Uh, I really look forward to uh, going there. Thank you so much for your time today. Sure, anytime. Okay, we will do a mix again with fun quiz. All right, hi Jen. Hi Adam. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, we will do a fun vocab too, yeah. Audio lessons about phrases and vocabulary. Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. People do bungee jumping. Bungee jumping is a sport where people jump off high places tied to a cord that keeps them from hitting the ground. Notice the following. 1. Have you ever tried bungee jumping? 2. Bungee jumping looks very dangerous. Let me go rafting. 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 We went rafting on the river. Rafting is a sport or pastime of traveling down a river on a raft. Notice the following. 1. We went white water rafting. 2. Let's go rafting when the river is full. Kayaking. 
Kayaking. Kayaking. We went kayaking on the lake. Kayaking is a sport of traveling across water by paddle in a small boat made for one person. Notice the following. One, do you want to go kayaking? Two, the Inuits invented the kayak. Bây mình sẽ lấy luôn nghĩa của những cái này nhé. Bungee jumping là một môn thể thao này. Mọi người sẽ nhảy từ trên cái cái một cái nơi rất là cao và buộc một cái dây vào người để cho mọi người không bị kiểu, bị va đập ấy. Rafting, rafting cũng là một môn thể thao. Là kiểu như là ở uh, chèo thuyền ở đây người ta có cái ảnh minh họa đây. Kayaking, kayaking cũng là chèo thuyền nhưng mà như là nó chỉ là một người thôi đấy. Capital. 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 Is that the capital city? The capital city is the main city for a country in terms of government or business. Notice the following. 1. The president lives in the capital city. 2. London is the capital of England. Capital. Capital city. Capital là kiểu thủ đô này. Main city của một nước. In terms of government or business. Trung tâm của những cái uh, um, chính quyền hoặc là business. Water balloon. Water balloon. Water balloon. People threw water balloons. A water balloon is a balloon filled with water with the intention of getting people wet. Notice the following. 1. I was hit by a water balloon. 2. Kids love to fight with water balloons. Ok, water balloon là một cái uh, balloon là bóng bay đúng không? Water là nước thì nó chỉ đơn giản là một cái bóng bay của đầy nước thôi. Water balloon. Celebration. 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 How many days is that celebration? A celebration is a special day or event to honor a day or person. Notice the following. 1. After winning the game, they had a celebration. 2. Most cultures have a celebration after a wedding. Ok, celebration tức là uh, một cái ngày đặc biệt hoặc là một cái sự kiện nào đấy Về một ngày hoặc là một người chứ là Ok, the main city is the capital city I went Bungee jumping. We went uh, rafting down. He hit me with a water balloon. You can go kayaking on any body of water. A celebration is a party. Okay, you got sick, right? Down up sick. Bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến đến phần là uh, quiz. Nghe lại này. All right. Hi, Jen. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, you're from Nepal, right? Yes, I am. Uh, I was thinking about going there. Uh, could you tell me some good places to visit while I'm in Nepal? Yeah, sure. It's really nice place. I mean, you should totally come to my country. Uh, 
I would recommend that you should go to a place called Pokhara because that's the most famous tourist site in Nepal. Uh, there is a really beautiful lake there. And then I know that you like sports, so there are so many different kinds of uh, activities like bungee jumping, rafting, kayaking. I don't know, kayo? What is it? Kayaking? Kayaking, yeah. So, yeah. I think you'll love it there. That's the best place, I would say. Oh, cool. Um, how far is that from the capital? Uh, you have to take a mini bus, and it will take you around six hours, and you'll be there. Oh, wow, okay. Cool. When's the best time to go there? I think during spring would be better. Yeah? Yeah. It's really nice there, like, uh, and the people are really nice. The food is amazing. And uh, there is a really good nightlife there because people, like, there is a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, pubs and, like, live music. So, yeah, it's a really fun place to be at night and in the daytime. Hey, that's great. I love uh, live music. Um, do you have any, like, events or festivals that uh, I should go to when I'm in Nepal? Um, actually, Nepal, in Nepal, there's a lot of festivals. But I would recommend you to go there when, it's, uh, when there's a festival called Holi. It's around February. Or uh, March. <laughs> so yeah, the festival is around March. And uh, what we do is we play with colors. We throw colors to, at each other and then even throw water balloons. It's really fun. Like, uh, the, play, like the whole uh, environment is really colorful, bright, and everyone is very happy. And yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I think I've seen uh, pictures of that uh, before. Um, how many days is that celebration? Uh, it's actually only one day. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I, I really want to go. Uh, anything else you can tell us about Nepal? Uh, if you like uh, hiking, then... Uh, Nepal has a lot of mountains. Actually, Mount Everest is in Nepal, so you can even try going there. Wow, that would be amazing. Uh, I really look forward to uh, going there. Thank you so much for your time today. Sure, anytime. Did I check the answer? Hmm? Okay, we're going to be sitting with my tips here. Mot bon salmon, Nepal by region. region. Jean talks about the different climate and landscape, landscapes in her hometown country, Nepal. Okay, bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với phần uh, ấy, 
cho mình đâu nhỉ đứng bên phần vô kẹp geography này geography geography can you tell us about the geography geography refers to various types of land regions and landscapes notice the following one the u.s has a varied geography two i love studying geography in school ở đây geography là một cái various types of land tức là một cái nói đơn giản thì geography là địa lý đấy surface này ok the surface is really flat The surface is the outside layer of something. Surface. Đây đây. Đúng rồi. Surface. The surface is really flat. The surface is the outside layer of something. No. Ừ. Đến đây lại dừng rồi. Ok, notice the following. This table surface is not smooth. The surface of the window is covered in dust. Mình có tiếp theo là surface. It's a highly region. Surface là bề mặt này. Highly region is an area with many hills. Highly là một cái kiểu, là một cái một cái vùng mà có rất là nhiều đồi. Fertile. 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 The land is so fertile. If land is fertile, it is very easy for plants to grow there. Notice the following. 1. Farmland is usually very fertile. 2. A desert is not fertile, but plants grow there. Fertile là kiểu như là uh, le, đất rất là fertile, tức là kiểu rất là um, uh, màu mỡ, kiểu kiểu đấy. Moderate Sao lại không không ấy nhỉ It's cold, hot and moderate at well À đây Moderate Moderate It's cold, hot and moderate as well When something is moderate It is in the middle in terms of degrees of intensity Notice the following 1 We live in a moderate climate 2. He has moderate views about politics. Moderate. When something is moderate, it is in the middle in terms of degree of intensity. Moderate. Ok, mình sẽ có climate 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 Nepal has so many different climates Climate refers to the weather of an area Notice the following 1. Hawaii is a tropical climate 2. The climate in the North Pole is very harsh Ok, climate là kiểu khí hậu này uh, The surface 
I prefer a hot climate. The streets are stacked and this farmland is fertile. Cook this soup at the moderate temperature. Do you like to study geography? Let me go highly. You got sick down, right down of sick. Dự đề này bài tiếp theo. Tiếp theo đó là bài 1454 Life in the Arctic. Life in the Arctic. A beautiful talks about the foods in the people eat and the games they play in the Arctic. So, Abidinami, you were talking about living with the Inuits um, in northern Canada. Um, what were some things that they do differently, like, for example, food or games or traditions? Food was a big thing that was different there. They eat a lot of uh, meat, I could say, if I could say that, from the sea. So because they're surrounded by the sea, they have access to a lot of um, food from there. They eat beluga, seal, uh, whales, anything that's found in the sea. I think they basically eat it. And they eat just about all the parts of the animal. So that was quite interesting. That's so interesting. What, what does it taste like, seal and, and whale? Very... Is it cooked? Sometimes they cook it, yes. They also freeze it. They have different ways of preparing it. Sometimes they do eat it raw. They say that's the best way to eat it, to get the most amount of energy from it. And sometimes they freeze it and they eat it frozen. They eat a lot of fish, frozen fish like that. Arctic char, delicious. And um, sometimes they boil it, but no. I don't think that's their preferred method of eating it one thing to note is that the younger generation they seem to prefer more the meat beef and uh, meat that more everybody else eats now whereas the older generation of course they still prefer their traditional way of cooking and eating also they eat caribou like land animals caribou rabbit and uh one or two other animals that I can remember. Now, did you try all these foods? I tried as many as I could. I love eating, and if anybody else is eating it, I'll eat it too. So I tried them all. I have my, the ones I like more, but I, I, I didn't find anything disgusting. I enjoyed it. That is so cool. Did you learn how to prepare it or cook some of it? <laughs> no. I'm laughing because I'm not a huge cook anywhere. So uh, I right. just do the eating. And clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Um, you mentioned that they played some games. They had their own style of games. Do you remember any games that they played? They have uh, games where one was like wrestling. They have a lot of body contact games where they would wrestle on the ground or you had to hold up your leg a certain way for how many minutes. Just really games that had to deal with uh, strength and endurance, is what I would say. And then they also played a lot of games using dice, and uh, where you would win prizes. I think a lot of these things were designed for the long winter months, so they could stay indoors and still keep themselves entertained. And because in those days, in the past, they didn't have TV or the, uh, the kind of entertainment internet which they do have there now. So they had they have a lot of games that they still try to play sometimes to keep them entertained. And music is a large part of their life too. A lot of people play different instruments and they square dance. They're really good dancers. They can dance all night. <laughs> so that was fun as well. Oh wow, well, sounds like a great place. Yes, it was. So do they have their own type of instruments? Their own traditional instruments? I would say no. The instruments that I saw were more 
things that had been brought up to them. Uh, for example, the fiddle, guitar, stuff like that. Thinking back on it now, maybe there were one or two things that they had made. But I didn't feel like... I can't really remember the name. I didn't really remember the names. I don't really... So... Hmm. Nice. Anyway, thanks for sharing. My pleasure. Bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với phần Ở đây có cả grammar và vocab Bây giờ mình sẽ đến với vocab trước Beluga Beluga, beluga. They eat beluga, seal and whales Beluga is a white whale found in cold waters Notice the following 1. Have you ever seen beluga? 2. Beluga look like dolphins Beluga là một cái con cá voi màu trắng được tìm thấy ở vùng nước lạnh này. Caribou. 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 They eat caribou. Caribou is a large type of deer found in cold climates. Notice the following. One. Lots of caribou live in Alaska. Two. Caribou have very large horns. Caribou là một cái con nai là một cái con nai rất là to tìm thấy ở vùng nhiệt uh, khí hậu lạnh này Disgusting. Disgusting Disgusting I didn't find anything disgusting Something that is disgusting is not nice to eat, see or encounter Notice the following One. This soup is disgusting Don't eat it Two, your room looks disgusting. Disgusting tức là một cái gì đó không kiểu như là không nhìn nhìn nó hoặc là ăn nó thì rất là không tốt. Oh, okay. Not a huge. Not a huge. Not a huge. I'm not a huge cook. When you say you are not a huge cook, that means you do not have much interest in cooking 
but do it sometimes. I'm not a big cook. I'm not a huge cook. Mean the same thing. Notice the following. One, I am not a huge reader. Two, I am not a huge golfer. When you say you are not a huge cook, khi mà bạn nói là bạn not a huge cook tức là bạn không có hứng thú đối với đối với như kiểu là nấu ăn nhưng mà bạn vẫn sẽ làm nó thi thoảng. Square dance. Square dance. Square dance. They square dance. Square dance is a style of dance where four people dance within a small area. Notice the following. One, square dance is popular in Texas. Two, I love the square dance. Okay, ở đây mình có square dance là một cái phong cách, một cái, một cái khỏi một cái phong cách, một cái điệu nhảy. Một cái, một cái phong cách nhảy <cười> mà bốn người nhảy với nhau một cái không gian rất nhỏ fiddle 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 they play the fiddle a fiddle is a type of violin notice the following one he can play the fiddle two i love to dance to the fiddle Fiddle là một loại uh, violin Nó là một loại nhạc cụ đấy I'm not a huge sport fan We can uh, square dance very well maybe. She can play the fiddle A uh, caribou can run fast. A beluga, beluga, This look too disgusting to eat. Okay, you got sick out of right out of sick. Mình sẽ đến với phần grammar Ok Mình sẽ nghe và điền cái phần grammar này So, Abidenemy, you were talking about living with the Inuits yes. in Northern Canada um, What were some things that they do differently, like, for example, food or games or traditions? Food was a big thing that was different there. They eat a lot of uh, meat, I could say, if I could say that, from the sea. So because they're surrounded by the sea, they have access to a lot of um, food from there. They eat beluga, seal... Uh, whales, anything that's found in the sea, I think they basically eat it. And they eat just about all the parts of the animal. So that was quite interesting. That's so interesting. What What does it taste like, seal and, and whale? Very... Is it cooked? Sometimes they cook it, yes. They also freeze it. They have different ways of preparing it. Sometimes they do eat it raw. They say that's the best way to eat it, to get the most amount of energy from it. And sometimes they freeze it and they eat it frozen. They eat a lot of fish, frozen fish like that. Arctic char, delicious. And um, sometimes they boil it, but no, I don't think that's their preferred method of eating it. One thing to note is that the younger generation, they seem to prefer more the meat beef and uh, meat that more everybody else eats now whereas the older generation of course they still prefer their traditional way of cooking and eating also they eat caribou like land animals caribou rabbit and uh, one or two other animals that I can't now remember. did you try all these foods i tried as many as i could i love eating and if anybody else is eating it i'll eat it too so i tried them all 
I have my the ones I like more, but I I, I didn't find anything disgusting. I enjoyed it. That's so cool. Did you learn how to prepare it or cook some of it? <laughs> no, I'm laughing because I'm not a huge cook anywhere, so All I right. just do the eating and clean up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, you mentioned that they played some games. They had their own style of games. Do you remember any games that they played? They have uh, games where one was like wrestling. They have a lot of body contact games where they would wrestle on the ground or you had to hold up your leg a certain way for how many minutes. Just really games that had to deal with uh, strength and endurance is what I would say. And then they also played a lot of games using dice and... uh, where you would win prizes. I think a lot of these things were designed for the long winter months. So they could stay indoors and still keep themselves entertained. And because in those days, in the past, they didn't have TV or the uh, the kind of entertainment internet, which they do have there now. So they had they have a lot of games that they still try to play sometimes to keep them entertained. And music is a large part of their life, too. A lot of people play different instruments, and they square dance. They're really good dancers. They can dance all night. <laughs> so that was fun as well. Oh, wow. Well, sounds like a great place. Yes, it was. So do they have their own type of instruments, their own traditional instruments? I would say no. The instruments that I saw were more things that had been brought up to them. Uh, for example, the fiddle, guitar, stuff like that. Thinking back on it now, maybe there were one or two things that they had made, but I didn't feel like I can't really remember the name. I didn't really remember the names. I don't really, so. Hmm. Nice. Anyway, thanks for sharing. My pleasure. Okay. I love free parents, love wrestler, insurance, maybe, eh? Preparing, love, I love loving, was. Okay. Mình sẽ đến với phần quiz.
Ok, bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với phần quiz này. So, evidently, you were talking about living with the Iris. Inuits um, in northern Canada. Um, what were some things that they do differently, like, for example, food or games or traditions? Food was a big thing that was different there. They eat a lot of uh, meat, I could say, if I could say that, from the sea. So because they're surrounded by the sea, they have access to a lot of um, food from there. They eat beluga, seal, uh, whales, anything that's found in the sea. I think they basically eat it. And they eat just about all the parts of the animal. So that was quite interesting. That's so interesting. What, what does it taste like, seal and, and whale? Very... Is it cooked? Sometimes they cook it, yes. They also freeze it. They have different ways of preparing it. Sometimes they do eat it raw. They say that's the best way to eat it, to get the most amount of energy from it. And sometimes they freeze it and they eat it frozen. They eat a lot of fish, frozen fish like that. Arctic char, delicious. And um, sometimes they boil it, but no, I don't think that's their preferred method of eating it. One thing to note is that the younger generation, they seem to prefer more the meat, beef, and uh, meat that more everybody else eats now. Whereas the older generation, of course, they still prefer their traditional way of cooking and eating. Also, they eat caribou, like land animals, caribou, rabbit, and uh, one or two other animals that I can remember. Now, did you try all these foods? I tried as many as I could. I love eating, and if anybody else is eating it, I'll eat it too. So I tried them all. I have my, the ones I like more, but I, I, I didn't find anything disgusting. I enjoyed it. That is yeah. so cool. Did you learn how to prepare it or cook some of it? <laughs> no. I'm laughing because I'm not a huge cook anywhere. So uh, I right. just do the eating and clean up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um... You mentioned that they played some games. They had their own style of games. Do you remember any games that they played? They have uh, games where one was like wrestling. They have a lot of body contact games where they would wrestle on the ground or you had to hold up your leg a certain way for how many minutes. Just really games that had to deal with uh, strength and endurance is what I would say. And then they also played a lot of games using dice and uh, where you would win prizes. I think a lot of these things were designed for the long winter months. So they could stay indoors and still keep themselves entertained. And because in those days, in the past, they didn't have TV or the, uh, the kind of entertainment internet, which they do have there now. So they, had, they have a lot of games that they still try to play sometimes to keep them entertained. And music is a large part of their life too. A lot of people play different instruments and they square dance. They're really good dancers. They can dance all night. <laughs> so that was fun as well. Oh wow, well, sounds like a great place. Yes, it was. So do they have their own type of instruments? Their own traditional instruments? I would say no. The instruments that I saw were more things that had been brought up to them uh, for example, the fiddle, guitar, stuff like that. Thinking back on it now, maybe there were one or two things that they had made, but I didn't feel like, I can't really remember the name. I didn't really remember the names. I don't really, so. Hmm. Nice. Anyway, thanks for sharing. My pleasure.
Okay, with the music, check the answer. Oh, drums. Okay, vậy là video của chúng mình đến đây là kết thúc. Cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi video của mình và hẹn gặp mọi người trong video lần sau. Tạm biệt mọi người.